whether it be the air surrounding us, the fluids in our air fresheners, or simply the water we add to our samples. We are surrounded by fluids everywhere. In this video, we're going to talk about two different kinds of fluids that fall under the category of time-dependent fluids, rheopectic fluids and thixotropic fluids. The fluids whose viscosity increases with time and stress are called rheopectic or time-thickening fluids. The fluids whose viscosity decreases with time and stress are called thixotropic or time-thickening fluids. Viscosity is a measurement of resistance of a fluid. Over here, you'll be able to see the difference between these two fluids. One is highly viscous, while the other is less viscous. Let me elaborate more on this topic. Let's take cream to understand the concept of rheopectic fluids. Here, we extracted cream out of milk and then put it in the blender to induce some stress acting on the cream. We did this for two minutes continuously and observed that the cream became thicker in constituency. Similarly, let's take the example of honey to understand the concept of thixotropic fluids. We can see here that as we are continuously stirring the honey, its constituency is becoming thinner and thinner. We observe this after doing it for 5 minutes. These were the two different types of time-dependent fluids. Hope you liked our video.